Well, hello, Chicago Bears fans. It's your lovely host with the most. It is the Reister. And guess what? The Chicago Bears snapped their 14-game losing streak. Last time the Bears won, last October. That is very, very not good. But finally won. But I'll discuss that in a few minutes. So I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this very, very interesting subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there will be a link. And don't worry, Bears fans, I will discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Now, before I go any further about this game, we lost another Chicago Bears legend yesterday, Dick Buckus. Amazing performer. I was too, I wasn't even born yet when he performed on the field, but I saw highlights. Great. Awesome. Now, I don't know if you guys know, he was on a TV show many years ago as a head coach. I think it was him. Maybe I was, maybe I was thinking about something else. But great performer, great athlete, unbelievable. Wow, um, he will definitely will be missed to all the Bears nation. Now, Bears won yesterday, so great honor for him, you know. Wow, unbelievable. They did a nice thing for him. Yeah, Washington at the game, you know, rest in peace. Probably when the Bears come back for a mini buy, they're going to honor him again, I'm assuming. Okay, now let me discuss what the status. Sam, I don't know what's his last name for the Washington Commanders QB. He was 37 out of 51, 72.5, 388 yards, two TDs, and one pick. I mean, he's okay quarterback, but he's not like the other quarterbacks in today's modern era. Okay, the rushing, he rushed for four attempts for 19 yards. For his longest run was 10. Big deal. Um, Brian Robinson, he he was not really a big factor because the Bears' defense clamped up finally again, you know. So that's it. So hold on. The receivers <clears throat> was okay. Mr. Thomason. Long Thomason, nine receptions for 77 yards, 24, 24 is lo his longest pass with 24 to 1 TD. Chris Samuel, six receptions for 65 yards. Um, his longest pass was 25, 1 TD, so it was not really a big difference. Now, on the Bears, Justin Fields, he tore it up again. 15 I had a 29, 51.7, 282 yards, 4 TDs, and no picks. We'd love to hear that. Right, Bears fans? No picks. The rushing was on fire, finally. Uh, Herbert, 10 carries for 76 yards, 7.6, 7 34, longest run, no TDs. That's a bummer. They needed to keep running it down their throats. Okay. The other guys was not really a big factor, so who cares? Okay, DJ Moore, if you have him on fantasy, you're awesome. Okay, if you might like, bench him because Bears was struggling on offense, shame on you. Okay, eight reception for 230, 20, 28.8. His longest catch was 58, three TDs. Comment, five receptions for 52 yards, 5.8. 23 and 1 TD. So the biggest game was DJ Moore. He torched um, the Washington Commanders. Now I guess he's um, all time the Bears receiving yards. They broke that yesterday. So that is amazing. Okay, yes, I know against the Commanders, but the Bears finally got a win. You know, too bad it was not a home game, you know. And this time they did not blow the lead. And to the, you know, you know how they have a big old comfortable lead in the first half against Denver. Then the second half, late in the game, they fell apart. It happens in football. No one's perfect. No one. Except the 72 Dolphins. But that's a different topic. But anyway, what else? So I'm very happy. Um, amazing. You know, now if you don't have Amazon Prime, if you live in the Chicagoland area, it's on local channel on Fox 32. You know, I don't know how they did it, but I guess um, Chicago paid Amazon 
to um, sync the channel. So it's her um, broadcasting, but it was on local channel. So that is good. You could flip channels if you want to, because I can't stand Amazon channel. I just I can't stand it. Anyway, so that that is awesome. And another thing is probably from earlier this morning. You heard or did not heard the Chicago Bears trade Clay Matthews to Miami for a couple of draft picks. My opinion is he's a total bust on the Bears' offense. He was arguing with the coaches and other stuff, so that sucks. So hopefully he does good with Miami. This is his third team. First, he was with the Steelers. I don't know how long. And then the Bears traded for him, and he was a total bust. And hopefully he does good with Miami with that offense. So if it, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So, And I think he'll be a free agent this year, so whatever and there's so much drama off the field and on the field with him so he don't got one touch on with the bears with against denver last last week i think so whatever so i don't know how many picks they give up i mean how, how many picks they got from him i don't know but goodbye clay matthews you know Cl claypool i'm sorry claypool i'm thinking about a former player for the for the packers i'm sorry Bye-bye, Chase Claypool. I was not really a fan of him. I think the only reason Barry got him, got him, because he used to play for Notre Dame, and that's so close to, you know, Chicago and Indiana, you know what I'm saying? So they always do that kind of crap. So hopefully Barry don't get another player like that, you know? He just a drama. Maybe he just needs a, another atmosphere. That's what I say when he left Pittsburgh for Chicago. I thought he was really going to work out, but... But I was totally wrong. So, so the next Bears game, not this Sunday because they just played last night, will be, I think, in Chicago against Minnesota. First divisional game in the wild since week one against the Green Bay. Hopefully, we could beat Green Sorry, Son of a Gun. Hopefully, we could beat Minnesota. I don't know. If we play like we did last night, Anything's possible. This is the first time we score 40 points. I know we give up 20, but it don't matter. A win is a win, you know? So, I don't know what to say. Now, I guess they're not going to fire their head coach. I don't think they're going to fire him anyway if, if the Bears did lose last night. And then, breaking news, the Bears finally fired their head coach on Friday morning. No. They are not going to do a new tradition. They're just my wild guess. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be part of the Rob Show, that's fine. Again, if not, don't worry about it. I'll talk to you um, Monday's edition. I still discuss about the Bears regardless if they don't play or not. You know what I'm saying? Peace out, and I'm very happy about this performance. Hopefully, it goes to the next game. Just they got to keep on trucking. You know, it just took a long time to get this team started with the offense and even the defense. Peace out, and go Bears always. I will send you information if you want to look at the stats always.